Hi, I'm Kath, and this is my first time on YouTube, so I'd just like to take the opportunity to just introduce myself and um, forgive me if I got a few M's and R's while I'm thinking about what I'm saying. Um, I've been sewing since the 80s, so uh, I've got a lot of uh, a lot of things I've made and a lot of past patterns I've tried. I love every aspect of sewing. I love the quilting side and I love the dressmaking side and I also love textile arts and I love embroidery. So I love everything you could possibly think of sewing. I sew on a Brother V7. This is my sewing machine here. I've had it quite a long time. Uh, it does take quite a big embroidery hoop. It takes the 12 by seven but there's an upgrade and you can then have the eight by twelve it's got quite a nice few features on it you know there was plenty of room to grow and i haven't outgrown it although having a new sewing machine is pretty special so uh i wouldn't say no to another one but i yeah absolutely love this sewing machine i can't really show you much about it right at this moment while i'm sitting here because while i've got my phone on record it doesn't give me the opportunity to flip the camera about but i have looked into that and i saw this morning that there was something i could download to flip that so then i can pan around but i will try and pan around a little bit in a minute do what best i can uh, but i don't want to make anyone sick uh, just a bit about me, uh, I've been, well I am in the future planning a get together, I've got quite a few hotels, beautiful hotels near me, so I'm going to plan a get together where some sewers can just bring what they're making and have a, a lovely day, there will be some techniques taught there on the day, but also just basically people to just get to know one another um, it will be fairly local to where I'm to. It will be either Truro, Falmouth or something like that. So that's in the near future. So if you're interested, let me know. I'm right down the very bottom of Cornwall. And uh, bear with me being my first video, you know, first time on YouTube. I was planning to go on a couple of weeks ago. But um, I started some HRT and it gave me really high blood pressure. So I wasn't feeling very well and I was feeling very lethargic. So that's settled down a little bit now. So I can take the opportunity to just show you some of the things I do love. I've got my cup of tea here. So let's just see if I can um, show you one of my favourite patterns, which is uh, a new look pattern. It's a new look. 6824 that one there i always pop them in a little pop you know envelope with a popper on so i can keep everything all together in here and then stick the picture on the front so when it's uh all expanded when you take everything out the envelope at least uh, it keeps it all together i done that one there uh it looks like it's a pencil skirt but it's got two pleats either side a pencil skirt would be too you know wouldn't give me enough ease in the waist i always like to hide my tummy a bit and don't make nothing pulled too tight across there but the fit and flare would be too much fabric and would make me look frumpy so uh i done this this dress works so well for me it really, really was a lovely, lovely, lovely pattern. So uh, I shall show you what I made in that, which is uh, over here. Let's grab this one. I've got a bundle of them all there. Uh, this is one I made in the, for this. Oh, I wore this quite a lot last summer. It's got um, the princess seams either side. These are just little caps and leaves. I did do the burrito roll with it where you can pull everything out and everything's all encased. I love that. And I managed to do that with tucking these, um, these sleeves in. And then when I all got pulled through, these sleeves and all pulled out. So I can go into more detail and explain that. I put 
I put a little bit of, you know, um, what do they call that? A little bit of uh, piping along the edges there. As you can see, first time in YouTube. I wish, hopefully I don't forget everything I'm trying to say. And on the back, I done a concealed sip. There we are. And that one went in really quite nice, actually. Nice and tight. I always like to get them all nice and snug in there. And I've got a little tip so I can explain to you on how I get these two ends of the sip to always line up and the waist seems to always line up i can show you some little tips as i start my videos all about those little things and here's the pleats there's some pleats here in the skirt um don't know if you can see them because it's a, a busy fabric but that's where the pleats are you just um fold pinch a little bit over each side and then sew across the top a uh, very easy thing to do and i absolutely loved loved that one and the hem i had um just a chunky stitch on my machine i just went for a nice chunky stitch and i just done three rows and they were fairly even along so that was nice and i done another one let's just pop that down there my son's little boy's christening. I made one again for that. I done another one. This one was more like you would say like mother of the bride type because it's a bit flamboyant colours and that. It was a bit bright. But this was for a christening. And I done just a little bit of white sort of um, piping. This fabric was from Truro Fabrics. It's a stretch cotton. There's no polyester, but I suppose there is a little bit of elastine in there because it does stretch. Uh, the one previous, I didn't say, that fabric was at Truro Fabrics. And that was a linen, I don't know, if, I think it was a linen viscose actually. Uh, it had a mixture or linen cotton, but that was from Truro Fabrics. And I made managed to make that dress quite reasonable. And this one was made up quite reasonable as well. Although there's some lovely fabric places online. And these are the pleats again. I don't know if we can see them. They're there. It's just two little pleats. And that gave me a lovely bit of ease. That one was lovely for my son's christening. Then I done... Another one again, as you can see, this really was my pattern and I have made, oh, must be 20 over the years of these dresses. Um, I've just made so many because I've had that pattern a good eight years or more, I expect. Uh, I've done this one as well. Uh, this one I done with a little bit of embellishment on the top. And as you can look closely, I just had a little bit of lime that i ran round the top just to pick up the lime in the actual dress and then i just zigzagged around with a little bit if i had something that i could just lay that flat upon you could see it a little more um there i've just done a little bit of zigzag around not a zigzag stitch but just waved the if you look closely that is a satin stitch and i just waved it all in and around all in around the neck just to give it a little bit of embellishment and actually it worked i quite liked it when i wore it and i i felt nice in this dress but this one didn't have any sleeves and then they done this one in this dress these are all fairly recently last year in lockdown and stuff i made some of these this one, as you can see, got a little bit of piping again, a little bit of navy piping and another concealed zip. I always get them right in real tight, my zips. I love the way I do my zips, even though I say it myself. I like a nice, it to be nice and snug. Now this one, when I wore this, I upset coffee down the front of me on my nice dress that I'd worked hard doing. And I felt great having it. So it went in the bed drawer. And then I thought, I know. I What I should have done was done a navy flower, I think. 
seen I had the embroidery machine, I thought, well, that's just, you know, embroider something over that coffee mark. And then I will have my dress to be, be able to be wear, you know, wear it again. It'd be all wearable, but I think this was too busy and sadly I didn't like it. So I just sometimes chuck it on with like um, a little tulle cardigan if I'm in. Uh, it's quite nice, but um, I would have done a plain colour. I would have done like a white. I think a white there would have just blended a little bit nicer there to it. I think that was a little bit... I wasn't too keen on that myself. And then again, we got the pleats. If you can see the pleats here, where do they start? Well, that's the skirt. Yep, there they are that's the pleats there so there was two pleats in it and i absolutely loved that when that was on and you can pick up such it only takes well i used to do a yard a meter and a half is all it took so you can make them up quite reasonable by just a meter and a half now i have done another dress this one here but that wasn't the same this this is a pattern one i drafted myself because it was just uh copied a t-shirt actually and i just uh made sure the arm holes were going to fit me you know and uh done a little bit of embellishment embellishment there on the top because there's two rows of piping and a little bit of lace there and i done a v and all i done was a simple t-shirt pattern i just pulled up a little bit of gathering at the front with some elastic just to bunch it up a little bit there. And then that took the dress up a little bit. So I made a little curve at the bottom there. Made a little curve at the bottom. And then stitched the bottom part in. And just gave myself a nice little bit of ease in. Without it, you know, being too, too much there. And this one, oh, I wore this one. And this is lovely and thick. Although it didn't feel heavy when it was on. It felt quite soft and it felt quite comfortable to wear but it's um it's a stretch cotton and so it's just a nice cotton one there's no lycra in it so it was lovely on the skin it was and lovely to wear and it you know one layer of it even though it's thick one layer of it wasn't thick too thick you know so it was just lovely to wear and then at the bottom of the hem all i done was got a little bit of color of lace that would blend in with the color and i just put all that on i just stitched that on the bottom there so that's that one and there's one more pattern here that i absolutely love and this looks like this is all the go now everyone seems to love these dresses and over the christmas i wanted a nice dress hang on let's have a quick sip of tea a moment i can see that going cold and you never want to waste a cup of tea kid do you anyway this one here i absolutely loved but i don't really think it'll be for me because i love it and i love the way there's not too much fabric there i love that but looking up close i think it will pull tight across my belly and everything but in town, in the White Company, I love that shop. I love all their candles and everything, but they had this dress and it reminded me of this. And I thought, oh, I could modify this pattern and do this. Um, if you can see, it's got a similar top, but it's got some shearing elastic Hang on, let's see if I can get in a bit closer because I'm not used to this. Remember my first video. Um, it's got some shearing elastic here in the front. And I'm thinking now that will give a little bit of fabric to be able to gather together and give me that little bit that's not pulling too tight across your tummy. So I thought I'd love... So I spent out on that one. Purely so, I know then I could modify, remodify this one here. I probably won't do this because it might take a lot of fabric. And this is the fabric I bought for it. 
this year. Once again, this was Truro Fabrics. Again, this here. And it's a lovely soft viscose. It will need a little bit of lining, but this one here is a viscose as well. And they feel very similar. And this obviously isn't lined. But um, I will line the top the top part the top bodice will definitely get lined um you could wear a little slip underneath i mean like what do they call them um they used to call them petticoats didn't they and and under skirts and that but i shall get something lined i think on that myself you know so that so that will give the actual dress a bit of body um I don't mind sewing with viscose at times, but it can be a bit slippery. I don't know how this is going to sew up, so I shall let you know about that. But that's the plans I've got for that. But the one I've actually bought, this one here, is a bit too A-line in the skirt. So I shall do princess seams either side and just take that in. And just keep the flow of the dress on that. Uh, I think... I think this one might well be cut on the bias there because if you can see you've got a seam there and you could uh, you could always turn it on the bias anyway because anything on the bias tends to fall nice it takes a little bit more fabric but it, it's well worth it it tends to fall nicely so just before I have another sip of tea I'm going to show you what I want to do right this minute let's have a quick swig of me tea right now these i think now now you won't probably need a coat when you're out i think it'd be lovely to do a nice jacket uh this is a mimi g one and this is 1066 there's that one and i have started this one i started this one just before christmas this one here it didn't turn out too badly because I was thinking of it to wear, like, you know, after Christmas when the warmer weather kicks in, you know, sort of end of February, beginning of March. But I had all the children's toys here and my son brought his children's toys down for Christmas. So I had all these Christmas presents all ready to wrap in here that my jacket got pushed to the side and I lost one of the sleeves. So, uh... And I don't know where it's gone. Somebody must have picked it up and shoved it in one of these drawers here. So I'll have to have a little hunt around to see if I can find the sleeve on it. And when I find the sleeve, but if I can't, I shall... It's just the lining of the sleeve anyway. So um, if it's not too much to cut another one of those even. So um, this one is 1167. I'm doing a lot of ums and ahs. So bear in mind, it's my first video, my darlings. Please don't uh, think I'm, uh, you know, not not planning on uh, talking properly. I will, uh, I will get there with my videos, hopefully. Anyway, um, I've loved showing you around, um, you know, uh, a few of my favourite patterns. I will perhaps show you a little bit of my quilt because I've got a design wall here. And if I try and turn you a little bit, I can go around and show you my design wall. And that's my... It's all made with Tilda fabrics. So that's my, um, my Tilda. And here is my... If I drop you down, here is my... Right, I'm sorry to have to sort of stop that now because as I can see, I'm not doing a good job panning around because uh, when the phone isn't on record, you can flip the phone and you can either look out or have it facing you. But when you're actually videoing, there isn't a symbol to do that. But there is something I can download to do that. So I shall get that. Um, I haven't thought of a name, a proper name yet for my channel. It's either going to be uh, the Comfort Sewing Zone or it's going to be the Cornish Sewing Girl. So if you want to look me up, you can either try one of those names. Um, I've got a person coming around 
in the next couple of days who's going to help me with a few things with my channel and just give me the heads up of how I go about some of it. So I'm pleased with that. And hopefully I can do a good job in, um, you know, showing what I do, sharing what I do and having fun. Anyway, I hope to see you all soon. Love to you all and thanks very much for watching me. Bye.